I'll say this about power rankings, and I think this is important. And maybe that's a great question. As uh, Shot is amazing anyway, but awesome question. Don't get caught up in the power rankings. I get it. You want to like beat your chest and say, yes, we're better than everybody because that's how I live my life. Um, but <laughs> the, the idea is this. You got to make the dance. That's it. You make the dance. Last year, you could look at the who was the number one seed in, you know, everybody had the Packers as the best team in the NFL. They had, you know, Rodgers and he was number one and they had the one seed. Guess what? They had zero playoff wins. Look at the one seed in the AFC. Guess what? Zero playoff wins with the Tennessee Titans. So power rankings, yeah. I want to be towards the top, and I think I want to be respected and understand. A lot of those power rankings, they're just media guys, you know, D-bags like myself that, you know, put their stuff out there. But here's what I would tell you, and I wish there was a way to do this, where every single team would rank the, the head coaches. Right, defensive coordinators, offensive coordinators, head coaches, those three, maybe even throw in the GM, have them rank what teams you don't want to play. So, number one, what is that one team you don't want to play that just, ah, I don't want to play them? That's the truest indicator. Now, we're never going to have that because then teams will lie and whatever else. But if you did those power rankings and that is the truest indicator of who the best team is, who do people not want to play? 49ers are going to be higher than seven. I can guarantee you that. Guarantee you that. And I think a lot of it, you know, I, I want to play this clip. I wasn't planning on playing this today. But a lot of it has to do with kind of the philosophy of the team and what you bring in. Now, Adam Peters and John Lynch, they 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 put out finally, uh, they didn't allow us to see it live, which was weird. I talked about that on the show. But what they did do was they put it out after the fact, which is awesome, and I, we got those clips. This is John Lynch talking about the team's philosophy and if it's intentional or not. But this is why, even if the Niners are seven on power rankings, I don't really, I don't really care too much. You ask opposing teams, they sure as hell don't want to play the 49ers. Why? Eh, John Lynch talks about that. Um, they, they, you know, there's certainly been an evolution, you know, in us as a. Uh, as an organization and kind of what we covet. And uh, I think some of that's just predicated on how you win games. Some of it, you grab a player like uh, like a Debo Samuel and you see the physicality that just wears on people. And, uh, you know, we, we try to do a lot of things. I think we've got as good a staff and, you know, and a lot of it starts with our head coach, who's our play caller in terms of ga gaining schematic edge. But it's not all about scheme. At some point, you got to impose your will on people, and and um, you know some of our early picks that didn't pan out, say, saying why, and then you know probably a rebound effect. All right, we're going to go get a thick, strong, you know, tough, and you start seeing it, and you start, you know, it's, it, you start. I, I remember back to uh, to to Tampa, you know, like defensive coaches getting really upset with me because I would never sit on the bench. Well, I wanted to watch Mike Allstott run run somebody over. You know, that lifts a team. And so I think those things start kind of getting ingrained in, you know, all right, this is how we win. And um, so if we can mix scheme with that mano y mano, we're going to impose our will on you, then that's a good thing. And so and maybe it has become a theme. And George, the way he plays, kind of embodies that. Trent Williams, um, you go down – down the list so yeah that it becomes kind of like a characteristic that, that we covet and if you look at the personnel decisions i think that matches that i really do like the niners will take your freaking soul the 49ers rush podcast